I'm Justine Gosling and these are your top stories. The Maple Ridge sex offender known as Swirl Face has been released from prison and is now living in Vancouver. The 42-year-old convicted pedophile Christopher Neal was internationally nicknamed Swirl Face after police released photos of a man engaged in sexual activities with young boys, disguising his face with a digital swirl. He was sentenced to five and a half years last June for producing child pornography. Neil is from Maple Ridge in Vancouver's mainland, and he pleaded guilty in December of 2015 to two charges of sexual interference after an incident in Cambodia in 2003, one charge of possessing child pornography in Maple Ridge in 2007, and two charges of accessing child pornography in Vancouver in 2013. He also served nine years in Thailand for sexually abusing boys as young as nine years old. But because of credit for time served, he has been released after only 10 months. A public notification has been issued listing five conditions that Neil must abide, including not contacting anyone under the age of 16, loitering on the property or sidewalk immediately adjacent to any park, playground, school ground, swimming area, daycare, community center, arcade, library, or residence where people under 16 can be expected or present. He will also be banned from owning a computer or cell phone. Despite Neil's freedom, some good did come from the case. The Canadian justice system is now re-evaluating how pedophiles and people convicted of sex crimes are convicted. Marijuana could be legal in our country by Canada Day next year. A government source confirms that the federal government plans to introduce legislation by April 20th to legalize pot, with the intention of the law being passed by July 1st of 2018. A detailed report prepared by a task force led by former Justice Minister Anne McLellan showed that the task force made 80 recommendations, including having the minimum age to purchase pot being 18, allowing storefront and mail order sales, and a four plant per person growing limit. Each province will be allowed to set their legal age higher if they choose, and it will be possible that British Columbia will have theirs matching their alcohol laws. With legalization, the report suggests strict advertising limits, a public education campaign about the risks of marijuana, as well as how to lower the risks associated with the use of marijuana. Mark McMorris, the Saskatchewan Morn Olympic bronze medalist snowboarder, was injured badly near Whistler on Saturday. The 23-year-old Canadian icon sustained several serious injuries after miscalculating a jump on a homemade jump in the backcountry. He was airlifted to the Vancouver General Hospital where he underwent two surgeries, one for a ruptured spleen and the other to repair a fractured arm and jaw. He also had a stable pelvic fracture, rib fracture and a collapsed left lung. While the surgeries were successful, a recovery timeline has not yet been released. Although Canada Snowboard's executive director, Patrick Jarvis, believes McMorris will be able to make a comeback in time for the 2000 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. Thanks for tuning in to Van Arts News. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Mossbank Dare to Dream Lotto. You could win $50,000 or one of many great prize packages. Tickets are only $50 or three for $125. Get your ticket today by calling 1-866-359-2WIN to get your name entered in for the early bird and VIP draw. I'm Justine Gosling.